recording has got a video with a thumbnail and it just says, they tried to kill me. They tried to kill me. I was swatted last night and Tim Pool was too. I almost have to play this. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Raid. Oh, fuck your Tenth video. time um, as this person who continues to uh, uh, swat creators. Basically, I have no faith that they'll ever be caught um, because, I mean, I would assume they would by they now. Try. So I decided, you they know, they do try to kill you, though, chat. really. I mean, throw a few dollars at him. Remi- I mean, I ain't going to lie. I'm not cool with the swatting. I don't think it's cool. That happens to quartering either. I just got swatted yesterday, I think, if I recall correctly. It was either yesterday or the day before. Um, so, yeah, I do think that's fucked up. But the thumbnail tripped me out because it's like, they tried to kill me. They tried to kill me. <laughs> and that quartering looked like, like that. Reminding everyone that they can save 5% with uh, code TIMCAST. And I don't want that food wide bucket variety bullshit. meme-worthy. Uh, comments people were having fun chat was i think for the most part got it like got the meme uh and then um i got a phone call i didn't see the phone call uh they called me twice didn't uh, notice i was actually just interacting in the chat um then somebody called my wife at 11 30 at night or 11 or probably the first time that happened but, uh... I probably didn't raise any alarm bells, did it? Eleven thirty at night, and uh, she told me someone's calling her. So I said, "Well, you better answer it." And it was. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. Dispatch. Uh, asking if she was uh, alive and still okay. Uh, I switched to my security cam outside, uh, and there was about 20 uh, armed-to-the-teeth officers on my property uh, surrounding my house. Uh, And I'm going to get into all the details of how that happened. But, um, yeah, all I wanted to do was sell coffee. I know that it's uh, the same person that's doing this to Tim because they are doing it in the exact same way. Essentially, here's what what happened. They sent an anonymous text message from some, you know, website or something and said that I had uh, dispatched my wife with a high powered pew pew and that I was going to do it myself, too. Um So a random anonymous text is good enough to deploy, I'm going to guess, 15 to 20 officers to your house. Uh, There needs to be more. Uh, They they, they need to look at that, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. So text goes out. They try to call me. They try to call her. I don't know if they would have turned around or went home if we answered, because when I did answer, dispatch lied to me. Uh, and tricked me into going outside and literally getting arrested and handcuffed. What? Uh, so that's a uh, huge... They handcuffed him? That's kind of fucked up, actually. First off, how many times have they raided Tim Pool's show? Can they just... Not, I mean, I don't even know. Like, I don't I don't follow Tim Pool that much, but every time I see him on Twitter, usually he's like, I just got swatted. Which, I mean, I know the feeling. I don't like Tim Pool, but... I mean, it's fucked up. <laughs> he keeps getting swatted. Like, what the fuck? Why do these places? You know what? I liked that the guy yesterday was like, oh, you're that house where the streamer lives. I was like, yeah. He's like, yeah, I thought this might be. It's like, okay, well, that's more than they usually give me. I'm like, okay, good. So he wasn't just, you know, completely crazed. Huge issue I have. Um, nine which times. I've been swatted like nine or ten times myself. Um, but honestly, Tim Pool's out, I think, in a more secluded area, too. Like, And he's got a bigger show, too. It's like, how do you keep swatting this guy? I mean, to me, they should know mine, too, by now. Don't get me wrong. But it's like, you know, it's Richmond. Who knows? They kind of... It's a more crime in Richmond. Uh, but like this, what the fuck? More depth, too, but... The officers, I think, acted the best that any that they could have. 
given uh, the information that they had, I've spoken with my lawyer this morning, and we are going to make a statement on Friday uh, because I do believe there are some critiques what are you to be say? had. But oh, to the, the officers the that police. I interacted yeah. with, once they had me in custody and realized that I wasn't obviously this thing, uh, that I hadn't done this thing, um, you know, they were cordial, polite, um, you know, and I think that they were probably embarrassed that they were there. Um, I think one of the officers... There was a point where I, I was like imploring them. I'm like, you guys, this is, you know, I'm a content creator. Look at my YouTube channel. I'm on the list, blah, 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 blah. And then one of the officers must have recognized me. And then um, within like a minute of that, the, the handcuffs were off. But there were some there were some scary issues. Also, for the 10th time happening to Tim. Some scary issues. Oh. Pool where people have to sweep the house. I just his phrasing. If this, the, I don't support, to be clear, and I got <laughs> handcuffed at the fucking Supreme Court like that. Um, so yeah, it is fucked up when it happens. It's just his his careful phrasing, phrasing with some scary issues. Like man, fuck this shit. I was getting mad the longer they kept me detained. I was like, what the fuck, dude? I was like, you guys know I'm not a threat. Can you just fucking can you fucking let me go? Like. Plus, you're costing me money. Like, I'm out here covering this event. This is my job. Like, can you let me go? Like, this is crazy. Then you have to remind yourself, you're like, okay, don't get too worked up. At least I do. I'm like, okay. All right. Don't don't give them, the, give them an, an excuse to actually, you know, fucking charge you with some shit or something. So I'm like, okay, just calm down. But it's fucking retarded. I, I know I'm, I'm memeing about it. Like, use, like, seriously, today... You use code SWAT at coffeebrandcoffee.com on single orders of either hot cocoa, coffee, or our six brand new teas, or we'll give you 10% off all reoccurring orders to help, to help, uh, offset, you know, to the meme of it all. I was having fun with chat last night. A lot of people Decided to try out the coffee or tea, which I'm really excited Man, fuck about. Fuck your coffee, bitch. I hope that people will today uh, turn a negative into a positive and try it out. No. Like, the promo code actually works. You no. can also use Nick Ricada's promo code, NOSE, and he doesn't get any of that money. Nose. Just yeah. so you know, like, I'm coming for you, Grift King. So I'm going to give your viewers 5% off, but I'm not going to give Nick any of the money. Um, because, you know, he doesn't need it. But uh, anyway... Here's what happened. So the text comes through. Um, I pick up the phone. I'm talking to the dispatcher. I know immediately that it's a SWAT at this point because Tim is literally being swatted at this exact same time. They didn't want to listen to that. So look, uh, go home. You know, my wife is fine. She literally answered the phone. You know, everything's fine. No, no, no. Uh, I said, well, let me talk to some an officer on the scene. So here's where they lied to me, which I think is uh, not okay. I understand why they did it, but uh, the lie is what made the situation potentially dangerous because if they had told me the truth that somebody called and said that I did this thing, I could have just put my wife back on the phone and disproved it and sent all these officers home to go do jobs that actually matter. I go protect people that actually needed it. Uh, anyway, so they, they said, would you like to talk to the officer? I'm like, yes, I would. Um, they did not put the officer on the phone, and then they said, uh, oh, well, he's right outside your door, right? Uh, I'm like, okay, well, I'll pop the garage door open. The media I pop, the moment I pop the garage What's the problem, open, sweetie sisters? What happened to the internet aristocrat? Is he okay? Did he take a turn for the worst? We're just laughing out here. What's the problem? Where's he at? Come on. Fuck. 15 or sweetie sisters oh so officers pointing um uh rifles at me screaming at me to, to put my hands up and walk backwards and go down on, i had to go down on my knees and they put me in freaking handcuffs which is embarrassing and for all parties involved my neighbors are all outside like filming it. it's hilarious um at no point did i feel in danger um uh you know, and my only disappointment was, and I made several jokes about this, is that uh, they didn't have body cams, so I didn't. Get, I won't get to get the footage. I can't get donut operator to break it down. 
Um, but fortunately, um, you know, when I was laying on the lawn, uh, you know, three inches from a, a dog prize pile, um, what? you know, my pants weren't exactly all the way up. So I'm good that that's not all over the internet, I suppose. Um, I think again, scary, uh, you know, bad. I think, you know, I am on the list, so to speak. Maybe if I, if I would have answered the phone, like I didn't recognize the number, so I didn't pick it up. Um, and maybe if I had answered, they would have handled things differently. So they're on the outside. They don't know me. Uh, they think that, you know, they, they were like watching me through the windows. They told me, and I, they're like, we were watching you just sitting there, drink a white claw. And you didn't exactly look like somebody just, I was like, this is all after I'm face down. This guy is just like the worst storyteller of all time. Can we get your wife out here to tell the story? Put her in something skimpy like you do for the other niggas. Send her ass out of here. I'm pretty sure she could tell a little bit better. And the dirt getting handcuffed, by the way. So I'm handcuffed for about 20 minutes. Um, I'm at this point getting very mad um, and irritated and angry. And I'm very worried uh, for my wife uh, because she has no me idea too. what's going on. She's me in too. I'm worried about her. The house they got they bring in another squad car turn on the lights turn on the loudspeaker so they wake up my entire neighborhood and command my wife leave the house with her hands up all this stuff and then here's where things i think started did they to, crap your where did I they what have some serious critiques what did they do to your wife first and foremost um once you saw my wife was alive you should have just like chilled out a minute um, you should have realized, oh, he's telling the truth. Now, my wife did tell me this morning. His wife was turned on by this one. She's actually more fine with it than I am. She's like, well, they don't know that I'm your wife. Um, I could wow, have been anybody. she was defending them, huh? Wow. Maybe she knows some of those officers. I'm just saying. And I was like, okay, I guess, right? Um, but the problem I have is they handcuffed her. That's not okay. Oh, did they? Wow. They handcuffed her. What else did they do? <laughs> I'll bet they did. Wow. This guy, his wife got handcuffed and manhandled. Oh my god! Did she get felt up? She got felt up. No, I mean I'll support that. Of course, I'm just saying that's seemingly what happened. Now she's defending the cops. The next morning, her hair's all tussled and stuff. Pleasured herself like 15 times thinking about it, being handcuffed. Oh no! No, I had the gloves on too. She was probably just like, "Oh, Jeremy, it's no big deal." Jeremy, come on, it's no big deal. They were just doing their job, sweetheart. Uh, can't you just go play? Can't you go play some Magic: The Gathering or something? Wally sent $3 they didn't need to handcuff her. The four guys she had over already cuffed her. Can't you just go play some Magic the Gathering or go talk on your YouTube or something? I think I've got a busy day today. <laughs> Morning. She's actually more fine with it than I am. She's like, well, they don't know that I'm your wife. Um, I could have been anybody. And I was like, okay, I guess, right? Um... But the problem I have is they handcuffed her. That's not okay. I mean, this is somebody that is potentially, you think, did you think she was a zombie? Did you think she was a zombie, a flesh eating zombie? What'd back she have on? <laughs> What's she wearing? Was she probably getting ready for bed? What was she? What time was this? From the grave? Um, She's out there in her freaking pajamas with no shoes on. 
He volunteered it. This job, man, I gotta say, it really is fun. <laughs> some days, some weeks, it's just like I told you guys I was missing my cuts up at up at bat. Didn't I tell you? It's like a hitter, a good hitter, and you're missing your swings. You're not getting your swings in when you're on vacation. Even though I'm getting some shows, it's like batting. I got a little batting practice in. We got a couple good shows in for sure. She's not getting those cuts, those daily cuts. Oh, random quartering, quartering video. Let's pull this up. You know what I mean? Like, just yeah, let's pull this up. Those are the ones you miss out on. Did you think she was a zombie, a flesh eating zombie back from the grave? Um, no. She's out there in her freaking pajamas with no shoes on, um, getting handcuffed. Not acceptable, in my opinion. Probably. She got manhound, didn't she? Man. This is tough. Uninspired thoughts sent $3. This dude is trying to white knight his wife after the fact when he just stood there and watched it happen in real time. This is brutal. What a disgraceful male feminist. This is bad. Jeremy is the ultimate cuck. What in the world? What in the world? Fuck, I might have to clip this out, honestly. Like, this is pretty bad. This is a bad showing. Why would he record this and put this out? So you got fucking just absolutely punked by the police while they manhandled your wife, handcuffed her? They didn't even... Okay, so you know what? If the police went there, manhandled him, he got handcuffed, you know what? Okay, you can't really stop that, right? So he was sitting back while his wife got manhandled, felt up, in her pajamas, no shoes on, and she fucking got handcuffed like a street hoe. Like a common street hoe. That's how she was treated. Thanks to fucking King Reddit over here. King Simp, we dubbed him recently. Either one will do. What in the world? Felt it up. She got felt it up. Ugh. What in the world? And she liked it. Exactly. And she liked it. And she defended the police the next day. She said, Jeremy, you're being too harsh. Then you got on YouTube and cried about it. And you sound like even bigger cut because that happened. So you got cut like three or different, three or four different dimensions, nigga. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What in the hell? Um, getting handcuffed. Not acceptable. Now it's like a fifth dimension because I'm sitting on here laughing about it. So. Ah, it's God. I don't even. Forty cuck. Technically, maybe even a five D cuck. Four dimensional cuckery. Like how do how do we even quantify this? Cause he got cucked. First off, his wife took the fall instead of him. She got fucking handcuffed, felt up by the police. Okay. Arguably two cucks there, at least one. <laughs> she defends it. Cucked again. He cries about that on YouTube. We're sitting here laughing about it. My opinion you have to exercise like some like okay let's just look you want to go through you want to check stuff that's fine but let's put the rifles down i mean my wife had six pointed at her she had six what she was shaking after she was uh... down raining out there too it was a little
I mean, my wife had six pointed at her, and she was scared out of her mind, right? Shit. Uh, and I knew what was going to happen and all this stuff, but she had no idea. Now, again, I think that they probably acted the best they could given the information. No, fuck uh, the police, Jeremy. What are you talking? Um, Man, fuck. What I would, you know, I have a couple Your of wives hopes, just got obviously. dogged out by the police, terrified. According to you, I mean, look, I don't know. Sounds like maybe some other things are going on there, but whatever. <laughs> we'll just take your word for it. What are you talking about? You're still defending them? No. That, you know, they just catch this person. Maybe my time was a mistake. You know, they slipped up. But so anyway, so she's handcuffed. Then um, the way I remember, it was kind of all of a blur because I was having an anxiety attack. During you the whole pussy fuck. Jesus Christ. Are you listening to this, Pantu? Please. I just can't even see what the fuck. This is unbelievable. Anonymous sent three dollars, honey. Those cops are coming over to apologize to me in private. You go play with your magic cards. Dude, yeah, please go play with your magic the gathering cards. Don't you have like some packs to open or some shit? Fuck. And he's not even cool about it. Like I saw Beardson stacking those packs and I was like, damn, Beardson's rich as fuck now. Because I saw those Pokemon packs I got, like, really pricey. Then I see some faggot like Jeremy, and it's like, uh, this dude's, like, terminally uncool. His wife's obviously getting railed by every fucking just outside piece that wants an action. Like, Anonymous sent $3 leaked photograph of the scene at Quarter Pounder's house. He literally... Link. He has a cowering, he has an anxiety attack. He's too busy over there. They don't even bother to handcuff him because he's on the ground, passed out, looking for his inhaler and shit. Like, what the fuck? Could you imagine being, being his wife? Are you kidding me? Dude. Dude. You can buy the bitch all the planes you want. You can buy her whatever the fuck you want. She ain't never getting over that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You went out like an absolute coward and was laying on the ground talking about give me my inhaler and shit. Like, that's never, that's that was your reaction to actual pressure rolling around the ground like some fucking acne-riddled teen who never even faced adversity in his life. You started fucking kicking and screaming, I can't breathe. Pulling a fucking Eric Garner and shit. Police hadn't even touched you. You just fall on the ground. Like, what the fuck? What a just absolute nerd. Are you kidding me? Anxiety attack. Fuck, I, I just handle him and come back to the stream. I don't even understand. Like, what? Yeah, he's on his George Floyd shit. What the fuck? I can't even. I'm glad we decided to play this. Let's put it, let's put it that way. <laughs> Uninspired thoughts sent three dollars laying on the ground with dog shit inches from his face, watching cops restrain and then rope his wife. <laughs> Sounds like a super villain origin story. Then this motherfucker fell in a vat of soy. <laughs> Holy shit, he fell into the soy. Oh, that was another thing. I pulled this up the other day, and they're like, this shows Ralph's favorites, favorite like sites. It doesn't. It just shows the sites I've been to recently. And it had Jim's Twitter on there because we pulled it up on air. And they're just like, we got him. They're just like, look at Ralph's most visited sites. I'm like, oh, it's not. Smug sent $10. I just came in. Can we see it again? Lol. I was like, uh, no, actually, it's not. Matter of fact, and I only use this browser for, like, stuff that's on there anyway. So it's like, uh, no, it's not true, but okay. Whatever makes you feel better. Uh, what do you want to see again, Smug? You want to see the quarter pounder thing again? We'll go back a little bit. I'll take it back a couple minutes if you want. 
we can't play the whole thing again because I'll have to kill myself. I'll take it back two minutes, though. The whole thing? Come on, now. He got swatted. His wife's getting felt up by the police. The whole thing, man. I want to kill myself. I can't listen to a whole quartering. Do you really want to? The fuck? You're more sadistic than Flamenco's crew. What the hell? Not the whole thing. I took it back two minutes. That's the whole part about his wife. Now he sent $10, to be fair. It was more than three. Yeah, the cops grabbed a felt of his wife. He said that uh, he got swatted, basically. Which I don't, I think is fucked up. I just think it's like, what is this video? What is this video? And then he's defending, the, he's still like not that harsh against the police. It's like, dude. Uh... So they're on the outside. They don't know me. Uh, they think that, you know, they, they were like watching me through the windows. They told me, and I, they're like, we were watching you just sitting there, drink a white claw. And you didn't exactly look like somebody just, I was like, this is all after I'm face down in the dirt, getting handcuffed by the way. So I'm handcuffed for about 20 minutes. Um, I'm at this point getting very mad, um, and irritated and angry. And I'm very worried, uh, for my wife. Uh, because she has no idea what's going on. She's in the house. They got, they bring in another squad car, turn on the lights, turn on the loudspeaker so they wake up my entire neighborhood and command my wife leave the house with her hands up, all this stuff. And then here's where things, I think, started to, where I have some serious critiques. Here's where it goes sideways. Jeremy, it was already sideways, nigga. What are you talking about? Stop licking... The cop's boot. Are you kidding me? You know, I've been swatted, but I ain't fucking had my my bitch marched out in the street like that. Are you fucking kidding me? What? I've had some crazy shit happen. But they didn't march my bitch out in the street. What do you why you what do you mean? It went, it already went sideways. The fuck? White Claw. You're sitting there sipping on a white. Knowing that ain't what you finished the night with either. That's what you're kicking it off with. It's like, that's all you fuck with. What a pussy. Imagine being married to this guy. What in the fuck? Ugh. I'm having a panic attack. Smug sent $5. My oh, bad no, dog. I, I thought we had footage of him rolling around oh, on dude. the ground. I, wish I apologize to chat. Somebody has it. I wish it was. I wish we had it. No, no, no. That's okay. Somebody has Uninspired it. thought sent $3 if he had just opened his garage door to walk out. How uh, does he end up face down in the dirt? That's what I don't know. Is his driveway dirt? This dude is a pathological yeah, fabricator slash embellisher trying to make himself sound like a comic book hero. Yeah, you're right to point that out. He's lied about some stuff before and he likes to embellish to get more money on YouTube and, you know... He's known. He's known to do, to do that. You're right. You're fair to bring that up. Markomp sent $3 quarterings. Roasty will be calling the cops every time she's frothing from the gash. Ugh. Almost worse than no. Rikita. Oh. <laughs> oh. First and foremost, um, once you saw my wife was alive, you should have just like chilled out a minute. Um, you should have realized, oh, he's telling the truth. Now, my wife did tell me this morning, she's actually more fine with it than I am. She's like, well, they don't know that I'm your wife. Um, I could have been anybody. And I was like, okay, I guess, right? Um, but the problem I have is they handcuffed her. That's not okay. I mean, this is somebody that is been potentially... Anybody, honey. You think, did you think she was a zombie? Wow. Did you think she was a zombie, a flesh-eating zombie back from the grave? Um, she's out there in her freaking pajamas. King Cuck Ultimo right here. What the fuck? What in the world? This is with no shoes on, um, getting handcuffed. Not acceptable, in my opinion. You have to exercise, like, some... Like, okay, let's just... Look, you want to go through, you want to check stuff, that's fine. But let's put the rifles down. I mean, my wife had six pointed at her, and she was scared out of her mind, right? Uh, 
And I knew what was going to happen and all this stuff, but she had no idea. Now, again, I think that they probably acted the best they could given the information. Um, Still but I would, in the boot. You know, I have a couple of hopes, obviously, that, you know, they just catch this person. Maybe my time was a mistake. You know, they slipped up. But so anyway, so she's handcuffed. What an absolute cuck. Panic attacked. What in the fuck? Then, um, the way I remember, it was kind of all of a blur because I was having an anxiety attack during the whole oh, thing. Oh, no. Thing. Um, Leader of men, Jeremy Hambly over here. <laughs> Leader of men. Absolute walking disgrace. Are you kidding me? The cops were there, so you had a panic attack while your wife was getting felt up by the third precinct. Allegedly. Unreal. Remember, it was kind of all of a blur because I was having an anxiety attack during the whole thing. Um that I think once the once the cop recognized there was like twenty cops or fifteen. Are you gonna cry? Are you gonna cry about it? See his eyes welling up a little bit. Fifteen twenty. One of them recognized me and then they kind of disappeared and then like my wife was immediately out of handcuffs and then I was immediately out of handcuffs. So somebody there recognized me. So shout out to you. I assume you're probably watching this video. What? My wife was probably in handcuffs handcuffs for like 30 seconds or a minute. Uh, but, I mean, I was in handcuffs for like 20 minutes, and I've, I'm 40 years old, and I've never, ever been in handcuffs my entire life. So, outside of the bedroom. So, like, it was not a, a fun experience for me. It was a very conflicting moment because I was extraordinarily angry at these, these officers. But I also understand that they were just doing their job to the best of their ability. Based on a minute, uh, but I mean, I was in handcuffs for like 20 minutes and I've, I'm 40 years old. And I've never, ever been in handcuffs my entire life. So outside of the bedroom. So like it was not a, a fun experience for me. It was a very conflicting moment because I was extraordinarily angry at these these officers but I also understand that they were just doing their job to the best of their ability based on the information that they had. Um, I have an issue putting, you know, irons on my wife. Um, but then again, you could point out that, well, they don't know that's your wife, even though she also answered her phone when you called in the first place. But luckily enough, see the dispatcher lying to me is an issue that I have because mm. if they had told the truth, somebody called in a concern about your wife or something like that, I could have like not been at, put at risk by going outside. Things happen, okay? I could have tripped on the concrete and then maybe it looked like I was ra grabbing for something. People have died from this. One guy had a heart attack and then another guy was actually um, turned into Swiss cheese. It happens, okay? So that's why I view these type of things as, um, you know, attempts on your life. So, um, Everything is, you know, obviously fine now, um, you know, to the, to the, to the swatters, the people doing it, obviously I know, and you know that you're probably unlikely to ever get caught. Yeah. Marcom sent $3. Imagine how this pussy ass faggot would act if he got actually attacked in the street like you. This guy, well, he'd crowdfund. He actually did get attacked by some tranny and then he crowdfunded and like, Ended up the tranny had to apologize to him or some shit. It was just a big waste of money. It was just like a promotion for him. Uh, I would ask that you, you know, leave. Like, I wouldn't even pursue, like, the stuff with COG. I was still talking, going to talk to a lawyer in the UK. But, like, I'm not going to pursue it just for, like, promo. Like, I want to put this nigga in jail. Like, 
or get some type of judgment against them. Like, I'm not trying to... Uninspired Thoughts sent $3. This was not a fun experience for me. It was not like watching the latest Avengers movie at a midnight <laughs> premiere. It was not like buying Funko Pops. It was not like playing Fortnite or posting on Reddit about Star Wars lore. Zero out of ten do not recommend. <laughs> Bearson, are you seeing this? Dude, this, this video is brutal. He starts talking about how he's having a panic attack while his wife was getting... <laughs> Which I don't support, obviously, the swatting, but it's like, uh, imagine if some real shit was going on at your house. This was like a dry run for something, hopefully dry, I don't know. If like, um, you know, for like, if the shit really did break out, like, wow, you know, that doesn't, uh, it doesn't inspire confidence, you know what I mean? House out of it, please. Um, my wife. Nick Spence sent $3. Ralph, we here at the Killstream research team have punched the numbers, ran the simulations, and every single time Flamenco's girlfriend had a penis. <laughs> the only outlier we had was an underage boy. No. We will keep you updated no. if anything changes. Killstream statistics. Inc. We have a very long-running stat service here on Killstream to kill sunrise. We'll continue running the numbers. We always do. We always do. My wife is not a part of this. She's not a part of my content. Um, and, you know, if you have a problem with me, you know, whatever, okay. Um, I'm sure that it's because I was sending all those super chats. Like, it's because I was sending all those super chats in Tim's chat that it happened. Um, what? I'm not going to not support my friends and content creators okay good what a brave stance malcolm x what the fuck okay good i'm glad that brave super chatter we love the we salute the brave super chatters today on the tequila sunrise by the way i mean i do salute the brave super chatters but like just think about what he's saying though <laughs> he's like making this long video I was like, well i'm not gonna stop it's because i super chatted Tim Pool. first off probably not Second off, it's like, oh, well, I'm still gonna. You're not gonna stop me from super from super chatting. I'm like, okay, all right. I think you'll be all right. I don't think I don't think you'll get knocked off for that one. I hope not. Um, and I don't think it's because he's super chat. I tell him it's funny, and I sincerely like wish that you would stop doing this because. When you get caught, when your luck runs out, you're going to spend a very long time in prison. They thought the cock thing was hilarious. Uninspired thoughts sent $3. Wasn't this fag piling on and talking shit on you and your family? Of course. And he wants his family off limits. Got it okay. Well, yeah, that's how he feels. Obviously, swatting's fucked up. You know, I don't support any of that. But, yeah, I'm going to joke about what a cuck he is. And how he bitched out when his wife needed him. Imagine that was some real fucking people there to fucking take his house or some shit some type of home invasion shit or just or anything maybe the police are really there maybe you needed to i don't know like your, your wife needed you to not get hurt or something right like hyperconserve sent 20 dollars. haven't tuned in for a bit oh seven big guy thank you sir i appreciate that very kind of you thank you salute to you as well thank you for that yeah exactly because it's not funny but this heartfelt review of the situation is yeah Exactly. It's not funny. I don't support it. I mean, I just had the same shit happen to me yesterday. Um, and, you know, there have been different levels of severity. You know, I've had them come with the guns drawn. Yesterday they didn't. But a few weeks ago, was that May, I think, when I put that footage out, they came with the full guns and everything. Um, and it's a different feel when they got those guns on. And yeah. But I didn't lay down and start talking about panic attack and all this. What the fuck? Like, no. I did say, don't shoot my dog. I'm like, this isn't real. You have to tell the cops, this is not real. Don't shoot my dog. <laughs> this is some bullshit. So if you fucking shoot my dog, I'm going to be very upset after. Y'all about to get your fucking ass sued. So don't shoot my dog that I've had for like 14 years. The fuck? So yeah, I did mention that for sure. Beard just said, you know what happened when I got swatted? I smoked a cig with the cops, came back in and streamed for two hours. Yeah. <laughs> Boo fucking hell. Yeah. I usually crack a joke with them or whatever. 
sometimes they remember me, sometimes they don't. They're always like, oh, what the fuck? That's crazy. He's like, what a waste of police time. I hear that a lot. I was like, yeah, no, it sucks. But wasn't my idea. I'm sorry. You know, I kind of feel bad sometimes too because it's like, well, they didn't, you know. I'm not defending the police at all, especially when they came to my house like it was fucking Pablo Escobar in here. But still, it's like, well. Anonymous sent $3, just watched Fagminko reply after Kino. He seemed excited like he got away with something. Yeah. Not that he was vindicated. He's a fucking pedo. Yeah, yeah, well, that's my thoughts, too. I mean, I'm just going to be honest, but, you know, now he's going to say, oh, he, well, it's not going to go away. It's going to keep following him, but he'll try to say, oh, well, I, you know, gave it that hearing on the Kino Casino. I don't think it's going away, though, and uh, like I said, I'm on record. I think probably more is going to come out. We'll see, though. And I just don't think more that keeps coming out it, on him. So I don't like, think that's a very controversial. It's just not bet. worth it. And like, if you have some sort of problem with, with Tim or whatever, Pete like, that, is my new like choice. I don't know what I have to do with that. Um, and my wife certainly has nothing to do with it. Uh, you know, the, I want to end with like a, a solid, like, I thought the officers were very professional, especially after they, um, you know, kind of realized that I was telling the truth. Um, they did. I have, we do need to look at this thing called exigent circumstances where I had twice refused entry to my home. It was very clear that it was a SWAT at this point, And they said they had to sweep the house and I refused. I know my rights. You know, I, I said, I do not consent to any searches. I refuse you entry to my house. Not just on principle. I don't have anything in here to hide, but it's on principle, bro. I want to go back to bed. I let my wife go back to bed. We're standing here in the freaking garage with no shoes on at midnight. Our dogs are going berserk. Um, and they win in any way. And they have this thing called exigent circumstance. No shit, Sherlock. Same. Yeah, they win in any way. Because they don't need your permission. <laughs> You're explaining that if there's exigent circumstances or imminent threat, they can just go in your house and you can say, Hey, I don't consent to that. And they're going to say, I don't give a fuck. And they're just going to go in anyway. Um, now again, I mean, I agree in theory, it sounds all well and good to say, Oh, you're not coming in. But honestly, I've let them come in before on a SWAT because it's like, well, you know, it's going to clear it up sooner. When I lived at the other house, I let them come, come in before and then once here. I know you shouldn't really, but it's like, well, I'm not breaking any other laws. Really, you shouldn't, I mean, by the book, but it's like, well, they're going to come in anyway. And if they were to try to trump up some charges on anything like that, I would fight that shit in court anyway. So it's like, well, you it, what? I mean, if you're going to fight the SWAT team that's there, or are you just going to fucking say, okay. Said, okay. Garage with no shoes on at midnight. Our dogs are going berserk. Um, and they went in anyway. And they have this thing called exigent circumstances, which means like basically if they have reason to believe that there's a major issue going on, they can enter your home. Correct. Well, wow. This motherfucker's learning. Real Walker sent three dollars. Why do they never catch the guys who do the swatting? So fucking incompetent. Police are the Pretty worst. Bad. Arrest the swatters, faggot cops. Yeah, it's true. I mean, uh, I, I agree. It would be better if they could catch some of these guys, but they can't. But yeah, Jeremy, that's how it works. That's how it works. They can just go in. I mean, it's not really cool. I mean, I don't think that's fair. But, I mean, I'm not breaking any laws anyway, for sure. Because if I was, motherfuckers would have me in jail, 100%. So, that's why I don't break any laws, and I'm just not a lawbreaker by nature, so, of course, as well. So, I don't do that, and if I did, they'd have me in jail, because so many people hate me. They try to cook up bullshit to put me in jail with. It's not, you know, shit that's not even illegal. They'll try to claim. So yeah, I, I run a pretty, I run a pretty tight ship. I don't believe that they had exigent circumstances in this particular case because we were both out there. They knew that there was a, a crank call, and they still went into my house. 
I'm not okay with that whatsoever. Uh -huh. I refused it. They want to see times, how you're living, baby. And they got edgy and angry. And one, the one of the officers got angry and, and oh, snippy wow. with me. Um, it's and probably you were sovereign citizen. I probably didn't. I mean, you know, I and they have the right according to this exigent circumstances. Right. Stuff. Well, that's the thing. You're wasting your breath arguing. Just save it for your lawyer. That's why you don't even don't even waste time arguing with them. If they fuck up, you know, just document and. Note what you can, but the police have all the advantage in that situation. So if you're arguing with them, like I, I've argued with the police plenty of times and did in, at the Supreme Court and plenty of other places when they fucking jack me up for no reason, all that shit. Yeah. Okay. I talk plenty of shit to the police, but you have to know when it's not going to like, it's not, it's not going to help you. But uh, boy, that really seems ripe to be abused by law enforcement. Um, no shit. Uh, it is. Yeah. Why have you never talked about that before? Yeah, no shit. And they have the right, according to this exigent circumstances stuff. But yeah, you know what? Start making videos about that. Actually, that would be one of the best things you could do. Uh, boy, that really seems ripe to be abused by law enforcement. You think? Uh, really? Just now hits you, huh? Oh, <laughs> they could really, they could really use this one. Mm. What the fuck? You know what? Okay, I'm not gonna. I shouldn't. You shouldn't come down too hard on him. But uh, man, yeah, yeah, I known about this one for a while. <laughs> um, the by the same breath, I said it wasn't you know worth fighting him in the moment. It might be worth you know advocating for some changes though. Yeah. It's, you know, I, and they have the right according to this exigent circumstances stuff, but I, boy, that really seems ripe to be abused by law enforcement. Um, uh, these particular people were all professional, but no, I oh, don't yeah. want people in my house after, especially it's been proven that you, uh, you know, that it's a crank call, um, you know, and, you know, thankfully they did just you know, check it out and make sure there are no bodies laying around and then they got the hell out of there, which is fine. Um, but I'm not a fan of that. I, I do obviously still support our police and I think that they did the best that they could. Uh, but, you know, dear Swatter, please leave my wife out of this. Um, she's an innocent. I, I, you have to have some scruples. Um, she's got nothing to do with this stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it inspired you to go buy some coffee and um, I guess I'll keep you posted with my official statement on Friday. Man, we don't get your official statement. What the fuck was this? This was 16 minutes. His official statement. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.